identification of snakes is particularly important for management of snake anatomy. It has an impact on conservation of snake fauna as well. This lecture elaborates a simplified way of identifying Sri Lankan snakes. Venomous snakes produce toxic secretion called venom in their venom glands and inject into victims during the bite. Potency of snake venom varies between species. Envenoming leads to varying degree of clinical features from mild to life threatening. Various terms have been used to classify the strength or the potency of the venoms. It is important to know the identification of these terms for the rest of the lecture. The snakes producing venom in their venom glands are known as venomous snakes. The snake species producing highly toxic venom are classified as highly venomous snakes. Then mildly venomous snakes are generally the species which produce mildly toxic venom and not lead into life threatening endonomy. Feebly venomous snakes produce venom which leads to mild local pain and swelling after their bites. Feebly venomous snakes do not produce any systemic effects. Not all venomous snakes are considered as medically important snakes. For example, two species of coral snakes in Sri Lanka considered as highly venomous snakes based on their evolutionary link and the presence of venom glands and fangs, but have no reported bites or envenoming. Similarly, Body size and mouth may be a cause of lack of biting ability of these coral snakes. On the other hand, some non-venomous snakes are considered as medically important snakes. Python is a non-venomous snake, but bites of python could result in serious lacerations, bleeding and severe local effects and sometimes constriction, suffocation and death. Therefore, Potency of venom and medical importance are quite different classification in medical science. WHO has classified snakes into two categories based on their medical importance. According to category 1, snakes are the highest medical importance. They are highly venomous snakes that are commonly widespread causes numerous snake bites resulting in high levels of morbidity disability or mortality. Category 2 snakes are highly venomous species capable of causing morbidity, disability or death, but for which exact epidemiological and clinical data are lacking or are less frequently implicated because of their behavior, habitat preferences or occurrence in the areas remote from the large human populations. The table has categorized Sri Lankan snakes according to all three classifications Cobra, Common Crate, Soy Scale Viper, Russell Swiper, Hump Nose Vipers are considered as highly venomous, medically important category 1 snakes in Sri Lanka. Snakes are identified based on their external and some internal characters. Identification based on external color may mislead the correct identification of some species due to the variation of their colors. Shape of head is very important in snake identification. Snake heads are either spatula shape or triangular to subtriangular in shapes. Scale pattern of the dorsum of the body is also vital in identification. Some snakes have uniform small size scales throughout the body. Some have rough keeled scales. Highly venomous crates have unique scale pattern. They have enlarged hexagonal shaped scale row over the vertebral column. Scales under the belly are known as ventrals. Pattern of ventral scales 
helps to differentiate snakes. Snakes having narrow and small ventral scales are non-venomous. Snakes with wider ventral scales throughout the belly are venomous or non-venomous. Scales underside of the tail are known as subcaudals. Subcaudals are arranged as two series or divided in some snakes. Others have undivided or uniserial subcaudals. Size of the scales at dorsum of the head is very important in snake identification. Some snakes have large scales called shields over the top of their heads. Others, especially some vipers, have small minute scales on their heads. Location of various bits on the head is important in snake identification. It is easy to identify the eye and nostrils in the lateral profile of snake head. In most of the snakes, there is no additional pit between eye and nostril. Some vipers have a deep pit in between eye and their nostrils called loreal pit. This character is unique for pit vipers. Only hump nose viper and green pit viper have these characters among Sri Lankan snakes. Python has a characteristic pits in their upper and lower lip called labial pits. Shape of the pupils tell about the behavior of snake species. Snakes active in night time have vertical pupils like in cats. Cat snakes could be identified based on the presence of vertical pupils. Some snakes depend on birds, have unique vision and their pupils are horizontal in shape. Most of the other daytime snake species have round pupils. Shape of the tail is a fundamental character in snake identification. All sea snakes have laterally compressed tail as an adaptation to aquatic life. Some primitive burrowing snakes have a shield on their tails. Presence of tail shield helps to identify some primitive groups of earth snakes. Majority of the venomous and non-venomous snakes have round or cylindrical tail. Based on the characters we discussed, we will now describe the characters of highly venomous Sri Lankan snakes. Cobra is a highly venomous snake, widely distributed throughout the country except in extremely high elevations. It is very easy to identify the cobra when the hood is expanded because no other Sri Lankan snake has an expansile hood. It is not easy to identify the cobra when the hood is not in expanded position and easily misidentified with rat snakes. Presence of two black patches under the neck and the presence of a spectacle mark or the dorsum of the head is unique to cobra. Common or Indian crate is a highly venomous snake commonly in dry zone of the island. Their dorsum is black in color and very shiny. The name Thel Karavala implies to the shiny appearance as the effect of oil. Enlarged hexagonal vertebral scale row is unique character for both common and Sri Lankan crates. Head is spatula in shape and there are paired narrow white bands at dorsum of body. These white bands could be less distinct in older snake. Subcaudals are undivided and underside of the body is white in color. Sri Lankan crate or Ceylon crate is an uncommon endemic 
highly venomous snake distributed in wet zone of the country. Similar to the common crate, Sri Lankan crate also have shiny black color dorsum. Presence of enlarged hexagonal vertebral scale row is a unique character. Dorsum of the body is composed of wider white bands arranged individually throughout the body. Subcaudals are undivided and underside of bodies black and white bands. There are two species of coral snake discovered in Sri Lanka. Both of the species are uncommon and small snakes with maximum size above 30 centimeters. Dorsum is brown in color with two black patches at head and the tail. Underside of the body is bright red in color and underside of the tail is bright blue color. All sea snakes have a unique character. Their tail is laterally compressed and flattened. About 15 species are reported around Sri Lankan coastal waters and all are highly venomous. All of them have their nostrils at the dorsal side of their heads. Russell swipe is a true viper commonly distributed throughout the island except in extremely high elevations. Head is triangular in shape and the dorsal side of the head is covered in numerous small scales. Dorsum of the body is light brown in color and three longitudinal oval shaped dark brown blood series are on the body. There's a white color V mark at dorsum of the head. Their subcaudals are divided. Soy scale viper is another true viper commonly distributed in sandy areas of north and eastern provinces of the island. The name Valley Polanga implies the habitat of the snake. Being a viper, it has a triangular head and head is covered with numerous small scales. There's a characteristic bird foot shape marking over the dorsal side of the head and their body scales are kielded. Commonest venomous snake in Sri Lanka is hump nose vipers. They are pit vipers, hence they have a loreal pit between eye and nostrils. There is a hump at the tip of the snout. Three species of hump nose vipers are widely distributed throughout the island in many type of vegetation. They are small in size. Their head is covered with big scales or shields and their subcaudals are divided. A potentially a new species of hump nose viper has been recently discovered. Green pit viper is an arboreal pit viper and considered as mildly venomous snake. As in other pit vipers, it has a loreal pit between eye and the nostrils. It is bright green in color and the head is covered with minute numerous scales, commonly distributed in wet zone but found in dry zone as well. Few snakes belonging to family Colubridae and Homelopsidae are feebly venomous. Their bites and envenoming cannot lead to any systemic envenoming. Five species of cat snakes, two species of wild snakes, two species of flying snakes, Sri Lankan blossom crate and dog faced water snake are considered as feebly venomous snakes in Sri Lanka. Cat snakes are known as Mapila in Singhala. Some people think cat snakes are highly venomous. Cat snake, wine snake, flying snake bites are reported in the island and no severe problems occurs other than local pain and swelling.
some highly venomous snakes have their similar color patterns to some non venomous snakes. Therefore, it is very important to differentiate commonly misidentified snake. There are few snake species which have a black color body with white color band patterns. Two of them are highly venomous crates, common crate and Ceylon crate and others are non-venomous. Commonly, non-venomous wolf snakes exhibit the similar color pattern to those two highly venomous crates. Presence of enlarged hexagonal vertebral row helps to differentiate the highly venomous crates from all other non-venomous black colored snakes with white bands. Adult Russell Swiper and Juvenile Python are also easily misidentified in the field and the hospitals. Russell Swiper has dark brown oval shaped connected longitudinally arranged blood series. But Python has irregular shapes dark brown blotches. Inverted V shaped mark is present at the dorsal side of the Russell Swiper head and python has a characteristic lance shape at the dorsum of the head. Sometimes Russell swiper, hump nose wiper and cat snakes are easily misidentified. Hump nose wipers and cat snakes has large scales on their heads, but Russell swiper has numerous small scales. Hump nose wipers has upturned hump at the tip of the snout and this character is lacking in Russell swiper and cat snakes. Elliptical pupil is also unique to cat snakes. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you.